Hi, in this video, we'll be learning how to build a staging website using Cloudways. So if that's something you'd like to learn, then watch this video. So having a staging site is essential for live websites that require ongoing development, because as a live site is already being visited by customers, you don't want to ruin their experience by making changes to the user interface during their visit. So that's why having a staging site is beneficial as you're able to make new changes without disrupting the live website. So to start setting up a staging environment, you wanna to go to staging management and then click launch staging application. Then choose the server, which the website you want to create a staging for resides on and click continue. Okay, so now it's creating a staging application. Okay, so now our staging website has been created. So you see here, there's a new uh, application called uh, Staging E-Commerce because we staged the original app, which is e-commerce. So let's open the staging app here. So this is the URL provided by Cloudways and they also turn on pa password protection um, by default, and I recommend keeping this on because this prevents Google from indexing your staging website, which could have a negative impact on your SEO. Also, having a password prevents unauthorized visitors from accessing your website. Okay, so let's view the staging website. Okay, so we have access to the staging site here. Okay, so let's access the admin credentials. And it'll be the same credentials as the live site copy the username and password from the live site okay so this is the back end of the staging website and just double check here that the staging URL is matching So I'll open the live application as well for reference. Okay, so this is the live application. Let's just change some things on the front end, on the staging website, and then we can push those changes to the live site. So on the live site, go to visit site, and then we're just gonna edit the page. And always keep an eye up that you're editing the correct URL. Okay, so let's change this from best to greatest okay, and click update. Okay, so let's view the page. So now it's updated on the staging website, but if we view the live site, it's still best. So let's push the new website to the live server. In order to do that, you want to go to staging management again so just make sure you're on the staging site and you want to push the data from staging to live so click push and then just update application files and then database whole database but if your website is like an e-commerce store or a social media website then i would exclude the, the tables such as the WooCommerce tables, because any new data during the editing process on staging would be overwritten. So just uncheck mark um, any WooCommerce tables. Okay. Okay, anything that says WC as well, we can disable. Uh, 
comments as well if you're a social media website and users as well okay and I would always recommend taking a backup just in case anything goes wrong or if you make a mistake with overwriting necessary data you can always revert back to a previous version of the website so click just take a backup and then click proceed okay so now it's going to push the data to the live site okay so now the changes have been pushed to the live server so let's view the live website okay so here we are on the live website and we can see that now it's updated to greatest furniture store in toronto on both applications okay so next i'm going to teach you how to transfer from live to staging so say if you made some updates on your live website and you're looking to do some more active development on a staging website but you want to have the latest version of the of the live site on staging then to do that you would just um, make sure you're in the live environment and then you want to copy data from live to staging so it's always pushing the data to where you want it to go so to do that you would just click push and then again since this is going from live to stage staging you can just copy everything so you have the complete latest version including all the orders and users from your live website so i would always recommend this if you're looking if you're if you haven't updated your staging website in a while just so you have all the latest uh, files and plugins and theme updates so just any just again make sure you always check that you're uh double checking that you're on the correct environment and it's always going to say here copy from live to staging or from staging to live so just take your time with this and then click proceed okay so the data has been copied from live to staging so it says here in the corner and then we can just double check staging Okay, go to staging. Yep, so everything and all the data has been transferred completely. So you're free to make new changes here on the staging site, knowing that you have all the latest um, updates from the live site. Okay, so lastly, we're going to go over restoring backups. So if you accidentally make a mistake transferring data, say from staging to live, you can always restore to a prior backup. So to, do, to do that, you want to go to backup and restore. And again, make sure you're on your live, envir live environment and then choose the latest um, backup. So this is the one we just took right before migrating the changes from staging to live. So we can click that and then click restore application now and then do a complete restore. Okay, so now it's going to restore the website prior to the updates we made. So if this works, this is so this is the live site, this should say best because that's the update that we made. Okay, so the website has been restored. So let's go back to the live website and refresh the page. Okay, so now it's back to best as it was before. So that's the end of this video. I hope you're able to create a staging website using Cloudways. Please like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.